Well, yeah, I mean, what's driving the market force is the techs. I mean, we saw Amazon, we saw Google, we saw Facebook, we saw Apple. They all took hits. I mean, now Netflix is down today. Uh, and they were the leaders. That's where all the money and all the trading was going, basically, in what they call the FANG stocks. And, and they were leading. Now, the concern is if they do break down, could you see this market capitulate and uh, trade down considerably a lot? more because the banks have not been a big driver uh industry has not been that hot real estate nah, it's pretty quiet but it has been the techs they've been the big ones now we we believe the techs still have a great future but right now because of the virus we're concerned however you know conversely the virus helps the techs because people stay at home you know, so Netflix, they had great ratings last month because people were staying home watching Netflix. Uh, Google, the search engines were being used all over because kids aren't in school, so they're on Google all the time, uh, getting their homework answers in advance, I guess. And um, Apple, Apple's still having trouble because all their stores are closed. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with Apple. They're going to have a, a tough time unless they get open up. And now with the virus spiking, you could see those retail stores which they where they sell most of their apple phones are, are coming in decline they're closing so overall it's a it's a tough time for the techs uh we think it's a buying opportunity we don't want to be too premature so we're not really buying them yet but we do believe the techs once a vaccine is definitely there and once the economy opens full time it'll be back to normal especially for the techs in the long run we concerned about the overall economy. That's the big thing, because uh, that's going to take a hit. If this keeps getting worse, it, it plays on their psyche. So people will order less, they'll do less. They'll be, we saw that when it, when it really broke out. Even though the techs are, are the only place you can go, people will spend less. They're more concerned, and traders will spend less. And the big thing is they'll, they're concerned. They'll lock their money up. They'll, you'll see the bonds. They're going into bonds. They're playing it safe. They're going into gold. So that's where they're really going. And if it's a total lockdown, people aren't out there. Oil's going to tank like we saw last time. So uh, that's the concern. But once we get any kind of vaccine, uh, the techs will be there. But right now you're seeing profit tech. Remember, it's option expiration today. So you're seeing a lot of guys take money off the table. And I think that's what's going on in the techs more than anything else. And you don't expect great earnings overall from uh, these companies this week. Well, yeah, we do like the Chinese ETF markets. Uh, and, and, you know, you're seeing a rotation over there in China. Uh, here in America, about 29% of the public is invested in stocks and bonds. And you look in China, there's about 4%. But you're seeing it start to build slowly in China. And one of the ways are the ETFs. <clears throat> and my favorite, and I still invest in it, is Alibaba. I think Alibaba is probably the strongest ETF, and not only ETF, but probably one of the strongest companies in the world. And uh, they have great potential, great growth potential. And as you mentioned, uh, the virus is not that front page news as it is here, uh, and that they have it more under control. And I think uh, America has to get it more under control. Like I said, we had 77,000 more cases yesterday alone. And a lot of that's young people not wearing masks, they're going out, you have to wear the mask. If you don't wear the mask, you're going to kill this economy because they're going to have to definitely close it. But I think a lot of Chinese ETFs, you're going to see that growth rate. Right now, most of the Chinese public is in real estate. I think that number is like 66% of the investors invest in real estate, something like that, compared to, I think it's like 25% here in America invest in real estate. But you're going to see that change, I believe, because uh, because the stocks like that, we bought them. And I think the market's getting more mature over there and it's slowly going up as it is as we speak right now, especially with the economy doing so strong over there at the moment. I would be patient because th this is a critical junction right here. If we see the uh, S&P break down below 3,000 and we see the Dow start to uh, sink because of the techs, no one's buying the techs or they're just afraid to put money to work now. They've had a pretty good profit running the techs, so that's why, you're, like we mentioned, you're seeing people get out and just putting their money in gold or in uh, you know, some bonds out there. So I think that's what you're seeing. And I would wait. Uh, let's see. I mean, you, you, we have time to get back in this market if they come out with a, with a vaccine. 
but uh, there's no need to rush in. The market's not going to take off anywhere in the world, so you're not going to miss a market. Like we said, the strongest market right now is China. And uh, I think you'll see much of a, a movement upward until there is a vaccine, in which case the market does really take off, but you'll have time to get back in.